Ryan Helsley is a uh, part of a theme that we've come up with tonight. We meaning me. Uh, and my producer, Chris <laughs> Collins. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is the most improved players in baseball. And I'm going to anoint Ryan Helsley, correct me if I'm wrong, as the most improved reliever in the sport. Take a look at his numbers last year, 4.56. The innings compared to 2022, 0.83 ERA. Look at the, the whip comparison. I mean, this is incredible. Opponents batting average under 100. So Helsley is the most improved reliever. Dan, do you agree with that assessment? I do. Okay. When, when the league is hitting under 100, as small as the strike zone is in baseball right now, that's saying something. You have to throw the ball over the plate. He's been nasty. All right, so he's the most improved reliever I, I, in the I game. I love that. I love uh, that. This stuff. is the most improved starter in baseball. It's Tony Gonsolin. You see the number comparison. Dan, I don't think this is close. No, every really solid pitcher has to have one go-to pitch. He has that split changeup that he throws. He throws it to righties. He throws it to lefties. He locates his fastball. He moves it in and out. There's a good look at it. It's there. It's in the zone, and it's gone. Great pitch. And he's waited three years to be in this rotation. Yes, he is. It's about opportunity. You know, I, I don't care. Any sport, anything you do, you got to have consistent reps. He's got that opportunity now and consistently, and now he's still a Confidence the off the charts. You can't, you can't barrel him up. He's, he hasn't given up hardly any hits this year. I don't even know if he has given up 40. All right, so you gave us our reliever and most improved starter. Harold, let's walk through position players at the end of these candidates. Dan, do you mind anointing the most improved okay, position player? Okay, I believe is. Yeah, well, we'll okay. run through it, all right? Go. Okay. I'm so let's start with Brandon Drury. Okay, take a look at his numbers for the Cincinnati Reds. He's I mean, bounced around. His average is the same, but the bombs have gone up considerably. Uh, to me, again, it's an opportunity to play every day. Remember, he had a starting job and he got injured. And that just snowballed on him. It, it was with the Yankees. All of a sudden, next thing you know, he didn't have an opportunity to play anymore. He played with the Mets, too, and, and yeah. didn't find his With rhythm. the Mets, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. I knew yeah. it was a New York team. But he's, he's really coming to his own, and he's comfortable. You can really tell the difference with a guy who has a leg kick and the rhythm he stays into. All right, let's go to Alejandro Kirk. Kirk. Oh, my goodness. And he's 317 <laughs> compared to 242 last year, Harold. Well, he was looked at as a, as a defensive replacement type of guy. Maybe pinch hit every now and then. This is I'm playing every day, and we're going to see him in L.A. in the All-Star game. He's getting more votes than any catcher in the American League side. He wants to be a starter. He does not have a large wingspan. He doesn't need it. He knows where the barrel is. Alejandro Kirk is having a monster year. One of our most improved player candidates. Andrew Benintendi. Harold, he's found a home in Kansas City. Yeah, I like this as a comeback. You know, it's been a while since we've seen him really be productive like he has been. I think the spacious ballpark in Kansas City helps him. You know, if you play in Fenway and you pull a ball, that's a graveyard for left-hand hitters. That's a good point. You know, and they tried to force him to hit a lot of balls in left field. He couldn't play the full ballpark. So now he's in Kansas City, he's using the whole field. And I think it's made him a better player. Now, it's hard to say Luis Arias had a poor year last year because he didn't. He had 294. But he had four more hits today. The guy's hitting 354. We have to put him in the conversation of one of the most improved players in the game. Well, I think the Twins finally recognize that let's put him at the top of the order and let him be himself. And I, I, I think that's the beauty of what they've seen. Look, the Minnesota Twins have always been a, an organization. They had Rod Crew, Tony Oliva, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Kirby Puckett. Guys that guys hit that top, uh, top of the out, or average all the time, yeah. So and then Dansby Swanson, he had 248, plenty of homers, but Harold, he's on pace to shatter all of his numbers. Well, this is almost like, uh, okay, you don't want to lock me up yet? Let me go out here and show people what I can really do. Winning a World Series, playing under that pressure cooker, helps you relax. And Dansby had the spotlight on it for all these years, and I think he's relaxed and figured it out. I want to call this the uh, Austin Riley Award, the most improved player, because that's what Austin Riley was yeah. last year. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just gave you the candidates. We're at the halfway point. Dan, you anoint the most improved position player in the sport. Who is it? To me, it's easy. Dansby Swanson. He posts up every day. He was hitting in the low 200s, Greg when the calendar turned to May. Low 200s to hitting 300 where he's at right now. He plays every day. He's a vacuum cleaner at shortstop. He makes all the plays. He posts up every day. He can get to a fastball. Hits good pitching late in the games. He's a free agent at the end of the year. He is in for a bundle of money. And, and he's hitting in the spot vacated by Freddie Freeman. Matt Olson doesn't profile as a number two hole hitter. 